Okay, what I'm going to show you here is how to do high speed sync hack with Olympus and use your studio strobes to sync above the normal sync speed which on an E3 is 1 and 250th. I'm using, oh goodness gracious, you can see I'm using the cheap little uh, RPS Studio um, wireless trigger. We're going to be taking shots of old Buzz Lightyear over there. Here's the, um, the actual wireless trigger that we're going to be using. Let's see if we can't get a focus there. Okay, right now I'm going to show you what happens if we try to shoot at one eight thousandth of a second and uh, take a picture of Buzz Lightyear. We should be completely black or banding. Let's not even do eight thousand. Let's just do a, a reasonable shutter speed that's above our sink, say 500. Let's see if you can see that. There's 500. So, what we'll do is we'll slide in there, focus on Buzz, boom, we popped him, and as you can see, on the back of the camera, we got some serious banding issues, let me get rid of the shadow info, banding, this is where the second shutter, or second curtain, is coming up, because the first, the first curtain goes up, and the second curtain comes behind it. I'm going to show you how to use these cheap eBay or cheap pocket wizards, whatever you want to call them. They're not pocket wizards, they're just the cheap wireless triggers. And I'm going to show you how you can sync it 8,000th of a second using your studio lights. <laughs> okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the camera. We're going to remove the... Um, wireless trigger from you're going to need an FL36 or an FL50 to do this so what we'll do is we'll turn on the camera and you can look and see we have the flash on the flash is on we'll turn the power on the flash okay and on the flash you want to make sure you're in FP I don't know if we can get enough light in there. Where that set up. FP. You can see in the corner it says FP and you need to be in manual mode. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take a shot of Buzz Lightyear at the same shutter speed, which is 500. Okay. And we'll take a shot. Okay, now you can see the banding's gone. Okay, let me get that on preview. The banding's gone. It's because we're in FP mode. All right, now here's the trick. Turn the power off. Slip off your FL36 or FL50. Put back on your pocket wizard or eBay trigger, whatever you got. Okay, now we got that back on. Let me lock it down. I don't even need to lock it. Okay, get out of that mode. And we'll take another shot with the pocket wizard again at 500. Make sure you guys can see that. I'm at 500. And take a shot at Buzz. Now you can see he's completely blown out. Because the flash is actually using the shutter speed to let the light in. And the uh, flash pack I got is overpowering it. So we're going to bring this flash speed up to 8,000. Okay, so there's four, there's 8,000. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter on Buzz. And we're going to take a shot. 
I don't want you to see there's any kind of hokey stuff going on there. You can see I'm getting the uh, underexposed warning. I'm in manual mode. And we'll take a shot of buzz. There you have it, folks. Buzz Lightyear, high speed sync with a Speedatron 805. That's 800 watt seconds. Let me get over there and show you the pack. And a 202 VF. So I hope that dispels any more myths about Olympus. And high speed sinking with the cheap triggers. This one is from Dotline. Um, I'm going to be a Dotline distributor, a dealer, so you'll be able to find them on my website, lilsamedia.com. And there you have it FP, high speed sync with Studio Flash. Hard to run all these cameras with one hand. Eight thousandth of a second on the Olympus.